So in this video, we will learn how to create WordPress users automatically from Google Sheets. So imagine this, you are employing content writers to write on your website hosted on WordPress. So the idea is that once you enter the details of a person in Google Sheets, he will be registered as a contributor on your WordPress website. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of the person from Google Sheets, sort it out, give a username, assign a password, and manually register him as a user in WordPress. Or you can bring in some automation, so that whenever a new data is entered in Google Sheets, it will automatically create a user in WordPress. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Google Sheets and WordPress. The best part of using Public Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you with an example. Okay, so this is my Google Sheet. So the plan is once I enter some details here, a person will be registered on my WordPress site. So let's say a guy called as uh, with a username, acerrt123. Okay, this is the username. And uh, this is the first name. The first name is Acer. And the last name is John. Acer John. And this is the email of Acer John. Acer John. 123 at the rate gmail.com okay and then we are going to work on the password so this is the password of Acer John bunch of random characters and bunch of random numbers okay so the password is ready so basically the idea is that once the database of a user is created here it will be reflected as a user in WordPress so let me just take you to WordPress and uh, so this is my WordPress page and this is where we will find where our, our user and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy this username or you can copy also the email or the first name but I'm just copying the username and I'm just going to make sure that this username exists so I'm basically going to search okay so it is trying to search give it one or two seconds okay so as you can see we do have a use user called as acer john so this is the name this is the email and he's a subscriber so basically he has been approved as a registrant in my wordpress so now basically he can actually subscribe or contribute to the articles i have in my wordpress page now uh, to begin the actual integration process between uh, google sheets and wordpress all we have to do is in the new tab let me just type pabli.com so here you have two questions why are we working with pabli.com and the second one is why are we working on incognito mode well the first answer is uh, the reason we are working with uh, pabli.com is we have an app called as pabli connect that will integrate google sheets and wordpress now the second question is why are we working on incognito mode well the answer is c uh, we are uh, using google sheets and if you have multiple Gmail accounts, there will be problem of authentication. Basically, it is always advisable if you have multiple Gmail accounts and you are working with Google Sheets to avoid authentication issues. It is always, always advisable. Just work on incognito mode. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so basically, this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so basically we are going to create a new workflow that will integrate Google Sheets and WordPress. Now, before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, I have already integrated Google Sheets and WordPress. That is why we have got a user in WordPress. Okay, and so what I'm going to do here is first, I'm going to uh, switch off this workflow. The reason I'm switching off this workflow is because... Uh, since we are going to create a new workflow and if this old workflow is running parallel to it, it will create the problem of duplication of the results. Basically for the same row made in Google Sheet, we will have two users in WordPress. So that is kind of wrong. So that is why I have switched off this workflow. But it is none of your concern because we are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. Okay, so we are going to give a name to this workflow. So how about we make it as Google Sheets to WordPress register just a random name let me just correct the spelling of course you can give any name according to your discretion it's totally up to you and let me just uh, click on create 
Okay, so when you click on create a window appears in front of you, this is called as the trigger window. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow. Now, if you want to clone this workflow, the template of this workflow is available as a link in the description box. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Sheets because we want to send the data from Google Sheets. That is why Google Sheets. Okay, this is the one we want. And in the trigger event, how about we make it as new spreadsheet row? Okay, so new spreadsheet row is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if this condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new spreadsheet row is made in Google Sheet, then what action should be taken by the system? Now, at this point, we only have one trigger event, that is new spreadsheet row. Now, in case if you want more trigger events, all you have to do is just approach the help section. So when you click on the help section, you will be directed to Pabli forums. So here in Pabli forums, you can make a request that you want so and so trigger events or action events. So let it load. So here you can just make a request that you want this action or trigger event. So let me just take you back to Pabli Connect. So basically the gist is we are just trying to integrate Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. So this is an old Google Sheet. Okay, that is a user. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the old one. Okay, register user. And as you can see, we have already entered some entries. And basically, we have already integrated this Google Sheet. So I'm just going to cancel this one. Let me just click on leave. And uh, so we are basically going to work with a new Google Sheet. So as you can see, I have already entered the names of the column, the username, the first name, the last name, email, and the password. Now, as you can see, the password is the last data entry column. Okay, I repeat again, E, that is the password column, is the last data entry column. Remember this, this is actually pretty important. So this is the Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on Add-on. When you click on Add-on, you will find Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now, Pabli Connect Webhook is already installed as an add-on in my Google Sheet. Now, in your case, Pabli Connect Webhooks might not have been installed yet. So, first of all, just click on Get Add-ons. Okay, so basically, when you click on Get Add-ons, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up in front of you. So, let it load, give it one or two seconds. Okay, so basically, this is Google Workspace Marketplace. All you have to do is just type Pabli Connect Webhooks. Pabli Connect Webhooks, this one. Okay, so as you can see, Pabli Connect Webhook is already installed in my system. All you have to do is just uh, click on this button and Pabli Connect Webhooks will be installed in your Google Sheet also. Now, there's something you should know. After installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat again, after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. So it has been installed. Let me just uh, click on Cancel. Let me just go back to Add-ons, Pabli Connect Webhooks. So as you can see, we have some choices here in the drop-down. We are going with the first one, that is Initial Setup. Click this. Okay, so this is the window of Initial Setup. So here we will have uh, two fields to fill. The one is the Webhook URL as well as the second one is the Trigger Column. Let it load. Okay, so this is the webhook URL column and this is the trigger column. So basically, we already know the trigger column. Okay, if I didn't explain the trigger column, well, the last data entry column is the trigger column. As I mentioned before, I clearly mentioned it before, the last data entry column in our case was column E, the password column. So that is why I'm going to mention the trigger column as column E. Excellent. Now coming to the webhook URL. So basically, this is my webhook URL. I'm just going to copy this. Okay. The webhook URL has been copied and let me just paste it here. Okay, so the webhook URL has been copied. We have entered the trigger column. Let me just click on submit. Okay, so there is something else you have to do. Go back to add-ons, public connect webhooks and just click on send on event. So basically it will ensure that whenever column E is filled, doesn't matter which horizontal row it is, it will keep sending on the data. And Pabli Connect will ensure that it captures the data because uh, it is already showing it is waiting for the webhook response. So if this is not uh, revolving, it is not ready for accepting the data. So basically you will have to click on this button so that it will start rotating. Okay, so basically it means that it is waiting for the data. Let's check, let's make some entry. So how about, um, we make some entry, Elon Bill, one, two, three. So this is the username, Elon Bill, one, two, three, and uh, one, two, three, T. And uh, Musky Elon, this is the first name. No, how about we go with a good name? Uh, how about uh, Dash, Dashy. And then we have the last name as Elon, Dashy Elon. 
and this is the email dashi elon one two at the rate gmail.com and how about we enter the last thing that is the password okay so this is the password bunch of random characters and bunch of random numbers okay so basically we have filled all the details we have entered the username we have entered the first name the last name the email and the password now since the trigger column that is column e has been entered let's have a look whether public connect has captured this detail or not so let's have a look yes as you can see we have the same details that is present in google sheet you may have the username that is elon bill 123t the first name as dashi the last name is elon the email is dashi elon 12v at the rate gmail.com and this is the password so basically we have got sufficient detail to create a registrant in wordpress now to do that let me just click on this plus button okay so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window so here basically what i'm going to do here is in the choose app i'm going to mention it as wordpress because we want to send the data to wordpress now in the action event how about we make it as create a user okay so create a user is an action event now there are many more action event like update a post create a page create a tag create a comment delete a post all of them are a bunch of action event now in case if you want more action event according to your choice all you have to do is just approach pabli forums and make a request that you want so and so action event okay so let me just click on connect now we have to enter the username the user password as well as the base url so basically this is my wordpress uh, username okay and this is my wordpress password okay so i have entered mine in your case it will be different so enter yours now in case of the base url so this is my base url okay i'm just going to copy this up to here this is my base url and i'm going to paste it here easy okay so let me just click on save so when you click on save a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of these blanks is very simple we are going to create a user in wordpress from the data that we have received from google sheets via public connect now we have the first blank that is the email address so i'm just going to click this and we are going to start mapping so this is the email and we have mapped it then we have the username so this is my username elon bill 123t the password let's map the password okay so this is something we have got so we have mapped the password then we have the first name the first name is dashi and then we have the last name the last name is elon okay so basically these are all the details now in case of nickname description name we don't have any details and it is actually pretty redundant so we are just going to ignore that now coming to the role i'm just going to add him as a contributor okay or if you want you can also add him as a subscriber works either way and let me just click on save and send test request okay so let's have a look uh, do we have the user so what was the name of the user the user was elon bill okay so i'm just going to copy the name basically we are just going to search if this user is added or not so i'm just going to copy this and remove this and paste it here okay so let's check if we do have a elon bill 123 at the rate elon bill 123t or not Oh yes, we do have the person Elon Bill one two three T, and the name is Dash Elon, and this is the email, and he has been added as a subscriber. Excellent. So the presence of uh, this uh, person in uh, WordPress shows that we have successfully integrated Google Sheets and WordPress with help of Public Connect. Now, before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to minimize this action window. and i'm going to minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated google sheets to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to wordpress so now there is a perfect flow of data between google sheets and wordpress excellent 